Atelier Champs, it's workstation time. Today we're going to have a look at AMD's latest Radeon Pro workstation graphics card. Particularly the one I have here is the W6600. We're going to see if this works in your PC, your MacBook Pro, your iMac and Mac Pro because you don't want to be buying Apple's ones if you have a Mac Pro. You want to, you know, get a cheaper one from AMD themselves and then you can fit it yourself, right? Now I did plan to have the W6800 but I don't know, that one's gone walkabouts for the moment. I do plan to get that one in so stay tuned for that and there actually is an embargo for performance figures for this which actually lifts pretty soon so i'll give you some performance figures in another video but in this video i'm going to go through what this is connect it to a pc connect it to a mac and see how we go there does it work should work on the pc no problem and i'll chuck it in the pc in future videos when we get the performance figures there so what is this this is amd's professional graphics with exceptional performance and reliability stability and software certified at its core so basically these are workstation cards what that means is they're more reliable they're not going for clock speeds they're certified for professional apps and they work a lot faster even though this may be based on a 6600 which isn't the fastest graphics card it probably will outperform a 6900 xt in many workstation applications just because you know it has radeon pro drivers now of course the w6800 which has 32 gigabytes of ram that thing is a beast so can't wait to hopefully to get a look at that but this one here the w6600 it's based on tsmc 7 nanometer technology it has 28 ray accelerators so i guess that's ray tracing cores uh, 1792 stream processors 28 compute units and there's lots of flops we have 20.8 teraflops of peak half precision fp16 and 10.4 teraflops of peak single precision fp32 so basically this should be able to work for PC and Linux, although it doesn't say that it supports Mac OS. But we're going to find out today if it will work on a Mac. It's 130 watt and you need a 350 watt power supply minimum. 8 gigabytes of GDDDR6, PCI Express 4 of course. It's a single slot. We have some H.264 and H.265 encoders built in. It has 32 megs of infinity cache and 128 bit memory interface and up to 224 gigabytes of bandwidth there, memory bandwidth. With. and it looks pretty cool right actually package it premiumly we'll open her up and we'll have a look and see what happens here oh have a look at that that's pretty cool isn't it that's pretty nice package in there so as you can see there 8 gigs ddr4 hardware ray tracing support optimized for 4k and 8k displays accelerated multitasking performance pci express 4 certified for many, whoa, look at that, that's nice, isn't it? Oh, single slotter there. God, that's so thin. That is so thin. That is a really premium card there. There's no back plate there. You know, workstation, what do you expect? But that is nice. That's so thin. So thin there. And only requires one six pin. So that, my friend, is something pretty cool. I like how it looks. It really looks nice. I actually wish they would actually make normal graphics cards that look this good. Um, yeah, that's really nice. Also in the box, we have some literature here. And you can just scan that QR code. So yeah, there you have it. I'm pretty impressed with that. Now we do have here, it looks like four display ports 1.4. Don't know what that is on the top there. It's just a gap. It's nothing there really. If you can see there, we do have the six pinner. One fan, very thin. Look how thin that is. Seriously, look how thin that is. Single slotter. You know, where do you get single slotters these days? That is amazing. Now let's see if we can get this sucker to work in the Mac and the PC. Now, that was really easy to install on this laptop. I just, you know, connected it to the eGPU. I actually installed the graphics card on the eGPU. And then we just installed the software here. Now, I did go to tuning. So I went to performance tuning. And of course, these are blue drivers. So that means professional. And I went to the GPU tuning. And this may only be because it's connected to this. But so far, all I can do is fan tuning. Nothing else. No resizable bar. There's nothing else I can really play with just the fan so yeah there's nothing else you can really do overclock it etc that is what it is i will see if you put it in the desktop whether you can actually do some tuning on a desktop rather than being on the eGPU but there you go now this laptop here connected via thunderbolt i have a workstation and if you want to know what this is this thing is super light 
it's white i like it it's a yogo 7i and it's like less than a kilo it's a really good laptop thunderbolt 4 of course it's workstation mobile workstation now so that's cool all right now is the big moment of truth will it work on an intel based mac so if this does work i've got the eGPU plugged in just got to turn it on you're finding out with me if this works or not but if this does work that means we have next generation graphics for the mac now but anyway the moment of truth will it work here we go what's happening is it going dingling ding dong dong okay so i'm looking at the top right hand corner you probably can't see it. you probably zoomed out but it doesn't say anything on the top right hand corner okay so i have this plugged in and all it says is external gpu it doesn't register it doesn't come up if i do an update will it work unfortunately it's not working on the mac so far it does say it doesn't support it so yeah i guess so but i would expect these to work because they work in the mac pro right pretty much the same thing let's just restart i think apple are just trying to force you to buy their own gpus rather than you know getting off the shelf amd you know 6800 xt or getting one of these workstation ones they'll rather you buy the ones off them but let's see if i restart and anything happens pretty unfortunate okay so we'll leave it there that's a little bit disappointing not working there um yeah what can i say i'll keep you up to date i'll wait until the next mac os update and see if there's any difference there but so far it's not working on a mac with eGPU um yeah stay tuned for more on this graphics card i'll catch you in the next one guys tally ho